Hey, it's me, Sison. Welcome to part 33 of Hand. And there's something pretty spooky going on here. We've got a Halloween event going on where we can actually decorate Death Inc. So we've got some jack-o'-lanterns. Just don't give them nicknames. An intern would be embarrassed. Ghastly balloons. Balloons inflated with Halloween's fetid air. Puncture and adorable proof. Funeral ghost. Phantasmagoric cerebral. Bandy of Otherworld Shadows are suited with machine washable blankets. Nice. Floating candles. They're held by employees who channel their ghost bodies at 0% opacity to give the illusion they're floating. It's actually really funny. Dismal light. A strange halo, softly pulsating. In Morse code, the signal means obscurity, darkness, shadows. And then we've got some locked stuff in the break room. Not sure how you actually unlock that. Oh, but look at this. So the lighting looks really good. I love the lighting. And of course we've got the balloons. Uh, we can't actually talk to her, it just brings up that. We've even got a balloon watching TV. Here's the office. This all looks so cool. I love Halloween events like this. Oh my gosh, what is this? Ooh. Ah! <laughs> wow, boss. I made you jump, didn't it? Terrifying. Nice costume, young Quinn. Oh no, you recognized me. I need to find another victim to terrorize. Yep, it seems inevitable to me. I'm going to pop over to the break room. I heard our colleagues have put together a little Halloween surprise. Awesome, it's Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday. <laughs> have fun, boss. Yeah, happy Halloween, everyone. It's always a pretty fun holiday. Other than the razor blades and all the candy. And as for the breakdowns, so I'm going to leave it on no breakdown. I was told that the the dialogue with Edna or Ariel, yeah, not Edna mode. Uh, the localization for it isn't done. It doesn't go past breakdown three, and I haven't seen anything in any of the patch notes saying that it's been added yet. So we'll skip that for now and start our run. So it has been a while, so I don't want to do the 30 enemies without taking damage. We'll just take the 50 soldiery. Thirty enemies in under two minutes. That's pretty doable, I think. And let's just play it safe. Take the anima. Yeah, it's been a while. I had to finish up. There is no light. Very good game. And then I kind of had to take a little break because there is so much reading. Dark and dreary. Uh, no. That doesn't mean anything. I can never remember this bit. I can't read my own writing. Darkness, obscurity, shadows. I call thy name. I see you. I summon you. Ah, that's it. Got it. I know today is a holiday, but still, Patrick. Settle down, please. What is that song? Oh, you gave me a fright, Mr. CEO, sir. Well, actually, it's more of an incantation, but that's all I'll say. Really? You're interested in magic now? I don't want to spoil the end of the ritual for you, Mr. CEO, sir. You can see for yourself. You're gonna drive me crazy. Hey, you're telling me. Feels good to be playing this again. So why are there like little 
blue orbs popping off of them and going to me. I don't remember that ever being an effect. I wonder if that's part of whatever is going on. Disc. Well, yet another event paid for by the company with no expense spared. I'm now Mr. O'Shaw. This type of event is important for our image, and the young people do so enjoy it. Have you seen Quinn? They're just as a ghost. Even you have to admit, it's rather amusing. The ghost? You must be losing your mind, Tisk. At least the ritual will make today slightly less unbearable. Sigh. You are true to yourself. Make an effort to smile, at least. Smile? What for? It's in keeping with today's theme. Terrifying. Think about it. Okay, I don't know what I want to take here. I kind of like the bonus damage on Retaliate. Obviously, we don't want to get hit. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, let's look for some equipment. Hey Orville, could you give me a little hint about this ritual that's going to be performed at the Halloween party? Patrick gave me a tiny preview and Quinn mentioned there would be a surprise. A pump? When did they tell you that? Yesterday? Um, no. Just a little while ago, in my office. They were in costume. Oh, that's odd. We were together all morning. They only just left. Anyway, I don't know anything about any ritual. Actually, I got dragged in to do some repairs. The blood fountain wasn't working, and we wouldn't want people to go hungry. Blood fountain? Don't you mean chocolate fountain? Blood, chocolate, tomato, tomato. I'm an engineer, not a chef. I can't be expected to know everything. <laughs> it's like a weird sound effect that played. To watch out for that uppercut. Something I really enjoy about this game is how easy it is to just come back to, even if you take like a break from it. And we got our contract, and I fell. Got poison mist. I don't think this is a very good spell. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to do another equipment storage, but I think we'll just stick with fighting the Thanager. Pretty confident I can be hung with just poison mist and the scythe. Also, I think the fury attack for this is changed to 
So let's see what that looks like. Wow, that's doing a lot of damage, actually. Okay, that actually did a lot. Okay, Poison Mist might actually be a little good. That's an enemy from a distance. That's why max HP every time you leave the elevator. Yeah, I'll actually take that. We've got a lot of elevators to cover for the end of the run. Yeah, let's look for more equipment. I'm getting a lot of max HP. This is a lot of health to have early on. Got the ganglion. The practical applications of the X4 for company objectives are still undergoing experimentation. The principal manner of infection by the substance does not always currently allow total control over the obvious lethal potential, developing cognitive and physical faculties to their maximum. However, the X4 can change from solid to liquid state in a few tenths of a second, a perfect candidate for projectiles. Yeah, so I've tried using this spell before. It's not very good. It's funny, but it's not very good. So kind of low ruled on the equipment. I do want to look for more stuff. What's going on here? Hello boss, happy Halloween. How about a little pick me up to energize you before the show? Oh yes, meh. With all that's been going on, I'd completely forgotten about that ritual nonsense. Oh, they're doing a ritual this year, eh? Sounds cool. You get together, eat well, have fun. It's a good idea. Yes, but I am a bit wary of the surprise the team has been working on behind my back. There's something fishy going on. I can say that again, boss. It's all a bit... rebellious, you know? Besides, teach a man to fish and all that. Sometimes you just have to take a step back and hope you've imparted enough wisdom for them to manage on their own. And I'm actually going to take this Prismium. Yeah, that's a good deal. So is that not actually Pumpkin back at the office? There's something weird going on. Hello? Huh? What do you mean, hello? Win, because I am a winner, boss. Haha. <laughs> Halloween. Halloween. That's today, you see. Oh, yes. Okay. I see. I also see the intellectual potential. What? Let's get this fury going. I'm a little worried he's gonna dodge a lot of the damage. If he moves too much. <laughs> the tracking on that's actually pretty slow.
Uh, seriously, you're such a such a stick in the mud. That joke was crazy funny. Crazy is definitely the word for it, Brad. Crazy indeed. Sometimes it's frightening how dumb you are. Halloween. I'm going to spend all day coming up with that one. I feel like I should take the max mana here. Five defense is also pretty good though. Yeah, let's go with the mana. Oh, and this is gonna be our first break room. What's she doing here? Inf company Shindig. Intellectual decrepitude. The suicide of inspiration. I should have known you wouldn't appreciate the true meaning of Halloween. But the ritual will no doubt take this waste of time to a whole new level. She is a little curious to see what happens at least. The ritual, yes. I've had quite enough of this ritual. Why don't you make yourself useful and tell me if you've seen my intern anywhere? She recommends you go see someone about those mood swings. The young pumpkin volunteered entirely of their own accord, though. <laughs> ah, you're chanting too, I see, Claude. Mhm. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? It's my company, and I still have to worry about what my employees are getting up to behind my back. Breathe in, breathe out. Let your breath guide the movement, Joe. Bow, bow. Yes, well, don't forget to breathe in, too. Haha. <laughs> eh. Darkness, obscurity, shadows, I call thy name. Like that? Yes, much better. Hang through the core a little more and relax your shoulders. You'll be in great form for the ritual. Let's see, where do I want to go? I'm thinking industrial pollution. We'll kill Grimes with poison. That feels fitting, right? Ugh. Stupid Halloween show. One minute they're saying it's on such and such a floor, the next it's in the break room. Unbelievable. I, I suppose you're talking about that ritual nonsense? Obviously, boss, yeah. It'll be wild. You have to wonder what goes through the heads of the guys who put the company's shows together. Are their geniuses or madmen? I'm just glad the intern's doing it. Out of the question. The torture of employees, interns included, is strictly forbidden. It'll all end in tears. They're just gonna make him into like a jack o' lantern? I'm not a fan of these guys, so I'm gonna use the Fury Attack like right away. Yep, that's why. Hey, more max damage though. There's a guy hit. And another Prismium. Ooh, Mosquito. Okay, definitely gonna take that over Ganglion. We'll sell that later.
Yeah, Halloween's always pretty fun. I actually got my mom a like trapdoor spider. Or not not like the actual bug. It's like a box, right? And it has a fake spider in it. And as you open it, it has like a little sliding door. The spider pops out like right where your hand would be as you open it. And it actually scared her when she opened it. And I guess she's been having fun scaring people with it too. Or max HP. The, the spell mana cost is pretty good too. Yeah, I'll actually take this. Being able to spam Miskilto, this will like decimate everything. And we can go beat up Slima. Pretty easy Thanager fight. Called. Did these like blue particle effects always happen or? Yeah, I have no idea what those are. I don't think they were there before. Okay, so mana regen on termination. This will be really good with Miskelto. Ooh, both of these are pretty brutal. Uh, I think the shot price increase is barely less impactful for a run. So I'll take that. Let's see if I can actually get like a cloak weapon instead of the poison. I'm really curious what this ritual business is about. Ooh. So many projectiles. Another Prismium? What the heck? I'm getting so many. Okay, so that defense increase is actually pretty good. Um, Shakespeare. Yeah, I actually don't know if I want to take this. I kind of do. I don't. Yeah, I don't think poison is going to be very good towards the end of the game. Also, I don't think I've ever seen the Shakespeare Fury attack. But it has like a long cooldown. That was pretty good damage though. Or 
for being assaulted by plastic bags. A okay, world dagger, not very good. Okay, null fire. Control room. I can just straight up upgrade everything, max out everything. If I really wanted to. I might change scythe weapons too. Oh, looks like Jacob's got some dialogue. Happy Halloween, Jacob. How's it going today? <sighs> Grumble. Fine. Everything's fine. All toil and trouble. Well, Halloween or not, all is well and good, eh? Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're still upset about last year. Yeah. Humph. We got over this time and time again, and I've said I'm sorry for the orange paint on my stomach and back to make me look like a pumpkin? Yes, sir. That's true. You can't change the macho culture around here that easily. These things take time. Hands off my cast iron. Dude got pranked. Yeah, it's either trick or treat. I definitely prefer the trick a little more. So let's upgrade in the skill to and then spend the prismium to just max it out. The sustain is just too good to pass up. Now we'll upgrade the scythe and I'll actually spend prismium to pick up a different one. And let's actually take twinsies. I'm kind of feeling a run with this. I'm actually going to spend the... Yeah, I'm going to spend another prismium on upgrading it to tier 2. Candy wrappers littering the streets, trash cans full of two-day-old decorations, discarded pumpkins, and parties held in godforsaken dumps. All that waste produced and fuel burned for nothing. Oh yes, business will be booming. Perfect. Thanks, Grimes. Well, you just summed up everything that's wrong with your department. And happy Halloween. So much damage. I probably used that period at the wrong time. Oops. Should have dodged into that. But he's dead. Yeah, screw it. I'll make up for it at the end of the year party. Or end of year party. Won't do you any harm to wait, will it, Mr. Chief Executive Officer? <laughs> if, well, if that was supposed to scare me, it was a complete and utter failure. I'll score you one and a half bats out of five for effort. You mean bats as in the animal? Weird ranking system. A stable job could be interesting. If I take that and you get crows in an arena, I can actually just stack our bonus damage because of the retaliate. It'd actually be pretty funny. I, ca I actually want to try that. 
Oh, let's take this. We're not too scared of these guys. We can always, uh, they usually spawn in the physical illness department. And we can skip that. We so choose. Whoa. Look at this. But, oh my gosh, Pumpkin. Eh, he's fine. Darkness, obscurity, shadows, I call thy name. I see you, I summon you. Accept this. A serpent as a sacrifice. Sacrifice. Cue serpent. I have no idea what that is. Serpent. Okay, Joe. Take your time and speak from the diaphragm. Sacrifice. Security, darkness, shadows. Hear the word of your brothers and sisters from the great beyond. This cucker bit is thine. Your brothers and sisters from the great beyond demand. A sacrifice. Careful, Mr. CEO, sir. The spirits are about to enter the... Wait, what is that? Decapitation? Oh, it is decapitation phase. I don't know, I was, I was reading that as something else. What? Hang on a minute, you're not actually going to go ahead with it, are you? Sacrifice! Oh my gosh, Patrick's going crazy. Pumpkin's head. You should keep it in your office to remind you of your ador of your adorable intern. Alright. I'm sure he's okay. Alright, even Mr. O'Shaw's joining in. What the heck? Darkness, obscurity, shadows. I call thy name. I see you. I summon you. Accept this cucker bit as a sacrifice. Sacrifice. Cucker bit. Cucker bit. Sacri sacrifice. Excuse me, Muriel, if I may. This is my favorite part. I love saying it. That's actually good at physical illness. I think Crank is a little easier to fight than Max. I want to make it to the end of the run just because I'll find out what the heck is happening. Spiteful Chomper. That's a pretty fun spell. I was just thinking about tricks and stuff for Halloween. I had a messed up idea for one. Maybe someone's already done this, I don't know. What if you made chocolate, but they were in, or I guess chocolates, but they were in the shape of razor blades. I think, I think that's a little too much for Halloween. You know, something else weird, I I saw this, but I don't really know what this is, but I guess people are doing, like, Trunkerween? So they're setting up, like, Halloween stuff, but in the back of their cars, which is kind of, kind of creepy to me. I don't know how I feel about that.
I guess it's supposed to be in place of actually going out trick-or-treating. I don't know why. This is a surprisingly smooth run. It's crazy how different not being on a uh, breakdowns actually makes the game. Wait, that's just the regular down attack? Wait, did that change? He actually spawned the, the petrol. What, what the heck? Yeah, I know it said difficult enemies. So that's kind of crazy. I don't think that always used to be the down attack. I thought it did like a... It used to hit on both sides. Yeah, that's, a diff that's different, right? Am I crazy? I'm actually going to have to go back to when I first got Twinsies because I did test out all the animations with it. It is pretty cool though. Does it deal 150? Ooh, Infuse Bleed. Oh, that's so good with the Miskeltos. So they would heal themselves. Shop price increase. And the shops are already increased to... Yeah, we'll take that. Shops are pretty much dead to us for this run. Let's go to equipment storage. I do want to change Shakespeare. If I can get like a... A different cloak weapon. Oh, I still haven't used the fury attack for this. Okay, next arena. I'll do that. Money. Oh, that's cool. I summoned two of them. Twinsy feels like such a good weapon. Lots of damage, pretty fluid combo. It's a little slow. Oops. Oh, I'm gonna have to circle back anyways, huh? Might as well go down here. President, get hit by that.
Yeah, look at that damage, man. That's crazy. Dark Talons. Oh, the Fury's different. Unleashes a black hole that sucks enemies in and swallows them whole. Dang. Maybe another day. That's that's definitely different from what it was before. I think before it was like five claws would spawn like it would come out around you and pull everything in and that's pretty much it and they don't deal a lot of good base damage so wasn't a very good spell before the one thing that was really good about it though is they stun very easily like even bosses Wait for our mana to come back and then kill a mosquito with mosquitoes. Yeah, my mosquitoes are better. Nice. Hundred percent backstab. I don't know if this affects spells, or else that might be good. Okay, this isn't very good. Don't want the spell damage for an increased cooldown on my dash. That that's not worth it. I guess we just take the sinister gear for the 10% crit. And let's go to the control room. Finish upgrading the scythe. And then we'll beat up Crank. Come on, Hector, out with it. I can't wait to find out what rotten thing you've co cooked up for Halloween. Halloween? Ouch. There's no better night to boost my stats in terms of cavities, ulcers, diabetes, and childhood obesity. And you can cut that right out. There's no need for all this boo-hoo, I'm the big scary boss nonsense. You couldn't even frighten a mouse who'd lost his way in a dark alley. Oh, I'll show you who's frightened. Meet me in a dark alley. Yeah, see how much damage this does. Okay, not a lot. It does hit a bunch of times, so pretty good for the bleed that we have. Sure. I hate Halloween almost as much as I hate you, you lousy emo. <laughs> He's calling death emo. What the heck? No problem. If you don't like this celebration, leave. We'll celebrate Mardi Gras and April Ghoul's Day in your honor instead. This is my holiday, and I happen to like it. Yeah, Halloween's a really good holiday. A lot of extra damage on the scythe. That's pretty good. Also, a lot of extra damage on the spell. I think we go with the scythe damage because we can't spam Miskeltos as much as we'd like. And Twinsies is just such a fun weapon to use. Yeah, all the decorations are gone. 
quick, I need a calculation. Something complicated. My blood pressure is dropping. You should have seen Osha's face when he realized he couldn't tear up my contract. Unionized eagles, impossible to fire. Yeah, well, it was about time. The shoe was on the other foot. Speaking of which, did he ever get his shoe back from the cheese vat? Oops. Wait, let's see how much damage these guys do. Oh my gosh, mosqu mosquitoes stop! For 186? One. Does it tell us how much it stacks though? No. Man, I could let these guys hit me a lot. If you'll remember, the retaliate gives us. Every time we get hit, we get uh, plus one permanent damage. And because I have. Where is it? Oh yeah, in the green tree, reduces damage below 10 to 1. I think crows hit for the least amount of damage in the game. So we could just sit here and gain pretty much an extra 100. And because I have lifesteal, I'm not taking any permanent damage here. This is all injury that I can just heal up. Using the mosquito. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe I'll I'll do that, but when we have a bigger group. Okay, here we go. How are they missing? I could get so much extra damage. I could just sit here forever. I could do this every time I come across the crows. Let's just gain 100. I don't know if it affects spells and stuff. Does it say? Oh, just one, bon one bonus damage. Dude, I'm trying to like walk into them. They're they're so dumb. Yeah, look at look at that life steal. Oh, this is messed up. And yeah, the bonus damage does work on the skill does too. Oh, this is so messed up. Yeah, back to full HP. Look at how much damage they're doing.
Yeah, those guys just die in two hits. That's crazy. How high should I get this? I'm kind of just doing this for the memes. This is actually pretty abusive. But hey man, it's in the game. It actually gets so far as to say this is intended. This is what you should do if you, if you come across these. Yeah, I'm like accidentally dodging these. You just need to not move. And even then, they'll still miss. Okay, so that's like an extra 20 damage. Yeah, the Bungie's is killing these guys in one or two hits now. Oh, what? Is that because they're fully upgraded? Oh, so the final attack unleashes a shockwave. Does it say that in the description? Oh yeah, the final blow gives off a shockwave. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't think I need to stack any more damage. As great as it is, I want to respect your guys' time and mine. And I also think this is already pretty strong, so... So how much damage does Shockwave do? Okay, pretty good. He can hit multiple times. Oh, and because of Shakespeare, my ground damage is also being boosted. Deal plus one damage for each attack resets after a while. That's kind of good. Yeah, I'll take that. More bonus damage, why not? And I'll just nullify those. And we'll continue the search for a better cloak weapon. And when these things crit too... Man, hope these guys don't hit me. Okay. They don't understand sarcasm. Okay, this isn't really okay, we don't want that that's not that's also not a good cloak weapon that one is just a very very slow hammer yeah, i kind of wish you could see like a multiplier for how many times you get certain effects and stuff I want to know how much I've stacked this up now.
And let's watch Bleach melt with the Fury Mosquitoes. Yep. Okay, none of these are very good. We're just gonna take this to build more into the green tree, I guess. But, I mean, my build's mostly complete. Uh, let's look at the shop. The shop might sell a better cloak weapon. Rashi Kunai. Um, actually, pretty good. No, I will take that. I think this is one throws like a bunch. Yeah. And more max HP. I don't really need the solary. Pretty set for this run. Yeah, this one's been a bit of a breeze. I'm actually really enjoying the this Halloween event. It's been pretty funny. The only bad thing is that Pumpkin died, I guess. But I mean, he's been in worse situations, right? Like he's been eaten. I guess in case you don't know uh, what I'm talking about, in the fast food update trailer on YouTube, uh, yeah, Pumpkin got he got eaten. <laughs> the mosquitoes are hitting for 90. And this is without like any additional spell damage. It's all just that retaliate effect. I guess a way we could, we could just math it out, right? How much does... Okay, we don't have any extra damage in our spells. Let's see. Base damage on Miskill 2. Oh, I guess it says 75. Yeah, I don't know what the base is. I think when you look at it there, it actually counts how much damage like you've gained overall. Like it accumulates all of it. Sums it up. You know what it is to be afraid, soldier. Well, we've talked about this before. Don't call me soldier, or else that smart uniform of yours won't be looking so presentable. <laughs> I repeat, do you know what it is to be afraid, soldier? <laughs> okay, I see. Major has put on his destroyer of peace, Kepai, along with his red nose. Because he's a clown for Halloween. So much damage. There, ask me your question again. Let's see if you've learned your lesson. <laughs> Do you know what it is or to be afraid, Mr. CEO, sir? Ah, uh, there you go. You see what you're capable of when you try? So yes, I do know what it is to be afraid, since you always provide me with such wonderful demonstrations. Happy Halloween, Major. I think the mosquitoes are pretty scary. They always end up being terrifying whenever you get them in a run.
Cloak Swish applies an effect while launching a cloak attack. Okay, this could actually be pretty messed up. Now let's take that. Plus 100% damage. Okay, we shouldn't see cataracts again, so I'll take this. Also, all the dialogue has been pretty funny. Making reasonable decisions is easy. All I need to do is be cruel at the right time. True. Kills injuries. I'll just use a pure heal. Decision, although there won't be any discount because that's Halloween, boss. Let's be serious. Off to natural disasters. Final department. Hey, that guy gave me bonus damage. Are they just looking to die faster? What the heck is this arena set up? Yeah, what the heck is this arena? It's like split in half. Ooh, Magma Boy. I don't see those a lot. Yeah, this build's insane now, especially with the Arashai Kunai, because I think each one of those hits for like a hundred. need much else. We'll just take the relaxation area just to make the run a little faster. We don't really need the pure heal, but we don't really need anything else. Our control room will upgrade the Rashai Kunai. And then from there, I guess we'll just try to like speed run to Amamura. Stop, that's too many. Yeah, look at this. Each one of those dealing, what, a hundred something damage, hundred or more. Yeah, 94 damage per. More bonus damage. Yeah, look at that so much. Okay. Gain life insurance? Deals bonus damage if the enemy has full HP. Um... 
Yeah, we'll just take the mana regen. And who needs a map? Keep teleporting away. Yeah, I literally make dying like quick and probably not too painful. Ninety-three damage. That's crazy. It could be so much more too if I wanted to take the time. I guess I should also mention I am planning on playing a scary game too. And I'm not sure what I want to play. If anyone has suggestions, I'd like to hear them. I'd like to look around. There's there's so many horror games, but a lot of them just end up being like puzzle games with interesting stories attached to them. And the scares are kind of mediocre. But you guys, I don't mind the puzzles and stuff. I like good stories. And if you look at my channel, I've played like nothing. Every game I have on here has been like really good in terms of story. So I don't mind that. I do want to play something a little scary. Uh, the one game that I am pretty interested in, I think I'll play is Little Nightmares. Because since it's come out, I've always been like, man, I'm going to play this game. I just, I just never have. So luckily, I haven't been spoiled on anything for it because I always wanted to play it. Uh, there's another game that was really weird. Ah, man, what was it called? Oh, I think it's Faith. That game looks... Also not too scary, but it has a cool, I don't know, I guess concept. The art style and everything, like the gameplay is done like this Atari fashion. I don't know, it's weird. I think I might play that. It's a little more obscure. I wanna hit this guy with the kunai. Man, that's an insane amount of damage. Uh, Frost Toxic could also be fun, but... We've already seen that one. I guess I should mention my the only like horror stuff that I'm really into is like ARG horror and there was one that I watched that terrified me for like two weeks I actually lost sleep over um I'm not gonna say what it is because it's horrifying right, let's go over the build before we fight Imamura so we kind of did a weird combo here uh, we got retaliate permanently deals plus one bonus damage and we got reduces damage below 10 to 1. So when I was in the modern warfare department, what I did is I let the crows hit me. They deal the least amount of damage in the game. So all of that got set down to one and we gained the plus one bonus bonus damage. And I did that like, what, 70 times? So as you can see with the base damage on our weapons now, 
is 81 per hit. And the Arashai Kunai hit a, like a bunch of times. Uh, same with Miskilto, 79 per. Pretty insane. So we should be able to take Mamra down easily. Yeah, ha ha! Fumbling in your boots again, coward. Just the thought of me beating you sends a liver down your spine. Eh. Yeah. Ah, cool. A Halloween guessing game. My favorite game to play with the champion of disasters in all categories. So you must mean trembling and shiver, I suppose. What do I win? Take me furiously, please. Thank you. I ran into that. Alright, let's just get rid of her. Oh, don't take it like that, Catherine. Relax. It's Halloween. Time to celebrate. I hate you. Your supposed kindness is all a suspense. Pretense. Your supposed kindness is all a pretense. You got the word seriously wrong, too. Now I think about it. <laughs> yeah, she said furiously. Mamra is a pretty fun character. What was I talking about? Oh, ARG horror. Yeah, I would actually recommend looking into it. One that I really like is uh, Into the Backrooms by Kane Pixel. Those are really fun to watch. What's another one? I don't know if this is this one's like ARG horror, but the Mystery Flesh Pits is pretty fun too. Yeah, I wouldn't say Mystery Flesh Pits is horror. The concept is terrifying, but it's not really like jump scares or anything. Yeah, that was a fun run. Pretty, pretty easy, pretty smooth. And there's Pumpkin's alive head. What are you doing? Kerbicut. No, hang on. A Kerbit. <laughs> hey, that's a tough word to pronounce. I'd have totally mangled it. Hey, Pumpkin, me too, man. I've been probably doing that the entire time, and I'm gonna have to look it up. Hello, boss. Happy Halloween. <laughs> look, I've got the best costume for the party. But, 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 when? I thought you. Well, her. Actually, I have no idea what just happened. Jared had a perfectly good costume, so you didn't need to... What was wrong with your ghost costume? Um, I don't know what you're talking about, but... It was Patrick's idea, boss. I thought it went well with the theme. Alright, fine. Whatever. That's enough now. Go regenerate yourself, and we'll say no more of it. We've wasted enough time on this. Um, I'd love to, but... I have no idea where my body is hiding. It's pretty unpredictable. It does whatever it feels like. Wait, so do you think his body was wearing the ghost outfit and then talked to us somehow? It'd be weird. Yeah, that was a pretty good run. Uh, let's go see if anything new has changed. So can I get the break room stuff now? No. Interesting. And it looks like she's supposed to have dialogue, but I can't trigger it. Okay, let's check to make sure there's nothing else here. Ooh. Jocelyn has some dialogue. Director, welcome to the Terror Elevet. No, Jocelyn, don't you dare. Not this year. Oh, but you know very well I'm skilled at breaking. 
Too bad. That's a pity. I have to announce. I have to announce to you that I'm quitting the job now. What? Wait, no. You can't do that to me. I think this is the first time I've actually heard Jocelyn's voice, now that I think about it. it. Sounds pretty cool. Oh, yes, I can. I'm cutting deals here, you know. But that was a joke, boss. Confess that you just shivered under your cloak. Tisk, clever. This is Halloween, Jocelyn. Not April. April's Ghoul Day. Okay, that's fun. I hope there's more to this event, and I imagine we'll probably find out in the next part. I'm pretty excited for that. Good old, good old pumpkin. Also, something I didn't mention, the music's changed a little bit, so... I actually like it. It's a little spookier. Yeah, like I said, I love Halloween events like this, and hopefully there's more that we'll find in the next part. I'll see you then. Peace!